So they already run lots of time, lots of time, 9,000 per many, many times, you see? They run many times and converge. Resampling, again. So how about this? Three pairs of these are significant. Okay, three pairs are significant. Okay, if you didn't show the percentage here, please remember from here, option. Do you have a percentage here? Is that wrong? You don't show the percentage. If not, just choose it and uh, you want to show the percentage. What you want to show here, okay? You don't need to show the credits. You can delete it, delete it, delete it. You just care about the credit, critical. Converge settings and the standard deviation, standard error. Maybe you don't care about the standard deviation. So you close it. You just care something about that, okay? Okay. You just care about the estimation, standard error, and the last your converge steady lower than one point zero zero two, and this your upper bound, lower bound. Both of them are positive. That means three pass. That's a three direct back exercise to immunity. A one are significant. B one are significant, and the C one are significant too. But how can you make sure that A1 multiplied B1? Who knows? So you can use the analyze view to use the customer estimate. Okay. First of all, you can use the additional. Additional does mean you can read the direct or indirect. Please extend it. You want to check direct. Exercise to healthy, direct. Is there mean? Real mean. And how about their upper and the lower <coughs> here? Is a little lower? Point the three three four is the one. Upper upper is point five seven six. Okay? And the mean and the mean is point four five six. You know what I mean? The mean. The estimate here. The estimate. Here. And the upper and the lower, okay? That's additional, what do you want? But not enough. They can show you the indirect effect. They can show you indirect effect. <coughs> About the mean, indirect. How many indirect? Only one, right? And this indirect is exercise to the PLC. That's mean that's mean you are you are indirect just one thing. Just here. As to why indirect only this case. Indirect only this. Okay? Indirect mean. That's mean A1 multiplied 
one. Okay. And how about the upper bound and lower bound? Yes. You know what I mean? This mean, ah, zero point three six zero point three six zero. And their upper bound. Their lower bound zero point two six zero. How about their upper bound? Are they significant or not? Sure. Estimate. SE. You can show their SE, right? Standard error. You can show their standard error. Standard error. Indirect standard error. Indirect standard error. Yeah. <coughs> Indirect standard error. Because this study we only one deviation. How about this? Yeah, right? They also have an upper and a lower bound, right? You know what I mean? Now I check the standard error, and I want to check standard error indirect, and their lower bound. Indirect or real? And their upper bound. Zero point four eight eight. Standard error. Zero point four eight eight. Okay. That's an error. Even error have their upper bound and lower bound. Okay? Based on this, you can tell, yes, you are indirect. Upper and the lower are all positive. So these are significant. That's an interval estimate. Okay? But now, Holmes questions are more solid. They're talking about, she want to know, she want to know this. She want to know this. A1 multiply B1 and A2 B2. Maybe A3 B3. Total indirect are significant or not? They want to know this. That's the question. You know what I mean? Total indirect are significant or not? Total indirect are significant or not? Right? Your total sum are success or 